back with Yang Ting. No, King Tudos Tades. <laughs> I think it's Tudos, more like Tados, but. Well, one makes me chuckle, the other not so much. Right. We are still facing down a dangerous faction, which is quite dangerous indeed. They want to increase the council power. They're unlikely to do anything about this man anytime soon. We can't. Not to kill. So. Not much we will be able to do here. Um... Could potentially make him a commander. Let's see. There he is. So let's put him in charge of our troops here. And the next one will still be her. We need to be a little bit careful with where we go in terms of warfare. Hmm. Because... Oh. Ah. Uh, we could imprison him, that would be lovely. But the council is all out against it. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with the dangerous faction brewing there. Peasants rise and revolt against us. Over here. Oh, that's bad. I don't think we can just raise our Parisian troops. Or rather, our Frankish troops, not the region. How many do we have down here on the corner? Ah, oh, no, that was a few too many. Let's first stand on everything on the island. Need to be a little bit careful so we don't throw away our retinues. Want to stand on these. All right. Now we pick all these. Four thousand enough. Okay. Let us accumulate here. We'll have to attack into the mountains, but again, this just gives us several opportunities to uh, try and get rid of these people who hate us. So as they lead armies into battle. So let's see. Lead here. There. Lead everywhere. We cross the river into the mountains. We might just lose this. Yeah, it looks bad for us. Oh, actually made it out that's one revolt crushed I will need to try do something about the other one let's see do you have any troops that can be led directly no only retinue troops can can be led directly if you need this little icon here next to him to appoint a commander to a unit which again increases their likelihood of getting killed in battle because they are quite the dangerous situation. 
So let's see. We are attacking against a whole bunch of light infantry, light cavalry, and archers. But we have in heavy infantry. Pike. Heavy cavalry. So we might just win this despite them being quite a few more. Nope. They're not winning that one. Okay, we need to send some troops from the islands port here. Go. Try right, this. How many are these? 2,300. Let's add one more since I also just figured out how to just select navies. If you want to just select navies, hold down the Alt key. And that way you just select navies. Now let's get them down here. Where are our retreating armies there they've almost arrived where they want to retreat to so every oh, oh, almost not yet let us have them assemble here you actually have to eventually win against them there's not much for it I will wait for the morale to go up and we'll attack heresies are popping up just all out ugly this world okay I'm not going to speed through this not as much as we did with his mother let's make sure that our friends are commanding our units again so they have a good chance to broke oh, we have a few new positions Shame. let's go by rank first who wants what oh, we can make him our fire master again first we need a steward he's a very capable steward let's collect some taxes at home and yeah we'll make him our spy master and send them out to let's say the holy roman empire either he does good for us or he doesn't do anything for us of these uh, she will be uh, she'll go struggling new commander spot is open deck who hates us need to be careful with the kinsmen we don't want to lose all those but I suppose our retinue have a new spot open for leadership ah okay there we go council power increased that is a whole bunch, 150% of our strength. Basically all our, yeah, all our vassals. But we'll win this. We'll face the next English civil war. Uh, let us appoint a few men and women who are capable to the jobs. They desire. Alright. So we don't lose out on those lovely bonuses here. And we will raise all of our armies. These guys will be immediately ferried away from here. So where's the headquarters? Down here in Paris. We'll stand these troops down. But try and get the other ones around here. 
there. Try to reach this port here. All the while, we'll clean up the island first, I think. Scottish are in a war again, so they're probably going to call us in. Let us immediately start attacking. We're going to bog them down with our smaller contingents. So they don't even get the chance to move. Uh, we'll ferry these by boat as well. Which seems like a sensible strategy to me to get these troops safely up to where they need to be. You go up here as well. Now we take all these men, walk them over there. Now we slow this down a little bit. Go to three speed. And there we go. We're probably going to be able to destroy most of his troops right then and there. Before he even gets a chance to do anything much with his uh, newfound freedoms. All the while, we'll have to keep a bit of an eye on our troops moving down here. Like, how many troops does he have, really? 53,000. That's crazy. 53,000. He has 20,000 20, more than he should have. Look at that, from vassals. He gets 20,000 for some reason. Above what he should have. So our best bet is to hope for him to try and attack us on our own soil constantly. So we can try and uh, head him off out here. We'll move all these over there. In hopes that he's just going to ferry his troops out here all the time. Yeah, he's clearly trying that. Let's... Uh... Okay, speed this down a little bit more. We need to time things right. Okay, there's a first big army coming. So let's get our... Luckily, halfway competent commanders in position and move all our troops in here. We will then also get our ships down here ASAP. Let's land them right there. We have at least a chance of bringing in enough troops. Uh, we will also rely on mercenaries, I think. again we go by cost sort it downward we are heavily outnumbered anyway there's very little we can do but we'll do something we'll get the cheapest largest amount that also is worth a little bit so not exclusively light infantry that's just going to get us killed here but a lot of uh, this is nice so uh, one of these two. I think we're going to go with the Swiss company because they bring a whole lot of pike. We're kind of destroying ourselves here in terms of uh, morale, but we have troops coming in to reinforce, so I'm hoping this might work out. And it's just uh, 2,000 attacking anyway, so that's my strategy for now. We want a whole lot of pike because those are really good in defensive wars. They're not just good in defensive wars, but they're definitely good in that. So we've beaten him here again. And he will have to come for our capital sooner or later. So there's not much choice he really has. We'll have a little bit of a battle here. Let's put in a commander for that. So our troops are guaranteed victory. We will move these troops off over here. Somewhere out here, he has some more troops moving. That was the 5,000 we initially destroyed. And we'll just wait for him to keep ferrying more and more troops 
across the Atlantic. Oh, that's not the Atlantic, but uh, the channel. Good, our troops are engaged over here. Clearly making short work of the enemy. There is a new army coming. And I think they're going for the island. Now, where are they going? Don't see where they're going. Okay, let's land them on the... Get them on the ships. His troops are still moving about. Yeah, he's, he's going to land here. So all our armies moving in. I think we should stand those down a little bit. These get the center leader. These get... The guy that suddenly is no longer available. And... These troops are coming in. That's our best bet. To try and catch them as they come ashore. Okay, 120. Wow. I am impressed <laughs> with what you send here. Okay, let's... Um, move our troops over there to engage the enemy. Let's move these over here so he doesn't see them. And thinks the coast is quite literally clear to invade. And every time he arrives on the shores, we're just going to have to keep attacking him. There he is. 22,000. Oh boy. Okay. Now this is going to be the hardest one yet. <clears throat> but we have a chance. They arrive a day after the first amount of troops. They are still heavily morale beaten due to just having landed. So we'll have a decent chance here to beat them. Let's get these troops on the ship as well. It's definitely hard for a battle and he does have the advantage of getting our defensive position out here in the hills of our home country. But it is, after all, our home country. We know these lands best. So we're not even going to try and face him. Out on the continent. Get our ships over here so we can reinforce from this side. And we just need to hunt him down on the island. Right now, he still has a chance to overpower us out here. Especially if he t manages to carry more troops across the channel to join his already quite uh, large armies here. But if we can manage to cut them off before they really assemble everything they have out here and get some reinforcements of our own going and we have a chance. Issue being here, there's no way into this county without crossing a river. But we need to take advantage of their low morale immediately. So we'll land... What? Why are these only 90 troops and 900? We, 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 we brought 2,000. What happened? We brought 2,000. Oh no. Oh no, I think one of these uh, switched sides there at the end. Where are your troops? Where are they? Did they fall off the ship? Okay, this will probably be our undoing. This battle over here. See, we can put in someone better. This man. But it's not like we really have a choice, honestly. We have to commit. 
And uh, another rebellion has popped up here. Okay, let's speed this on along a little bit. We have a few reinforcements coming in. They don't have any coming in. But it's a close one. Might have to try and go for a white piece. And this. Unless, of course, we manage to chase them down on the... On the island now. If we can just really demolish them here. Before they can bring their whole 50,000, 30,000 troops to bear. Now, stop. Stop moving weirdly. You need to be really careful because the, the AI does absolutely 100% prefer you to move through your own stuff. So it can be really, really difficult to head off the enemy. Oh, good. We, we, get, we get them in a good position. In a very good position. They might be joined by this army there. But I have a feeling they're not. Ah, now they're moving the troops. They might just arrive in time to save them. Oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ooh, if we win this one, we have a chance, but we're losing it. Oh, no, we actually won it. Amazing. We actually won it. All right, okay. That's some, that's some crazy maneuvering we're doing here. So their armies are also going in separate directions. We're losing a whole lot of money, but... We need the mercenaries. There's no choice for us but to have them. We're losing a bunch of sieges. To both rebellions now. Okay, let's catch the other one. The other army there. Or maybe we can catch both. Who knows how far they might go. Okay, they're going here. We'll attack them here. Into their low morale army. They might combine. They're probably not going to. Then we also can circle down here and take care of this rebellion. Thank goodness for the money that we have built up. We would not be able to win this at all. Not even get close, honestly. Okay. This, this war is more important. We need to deal with these first. Plus, these are getting beaten down by the defenders quite thoroughly. We only left, le uh, lost 37 in that battle. So if we keep this up, as you can see, we're getting really high scores already. And that means a whole lot of title revocations. Which probably are not going to be approved. But we'll try anyway. Obviously we're not going to be able to keep this up forever. And we do have to deal with them also. Okay, so let's... Stand these ships down. Need them. How many retinues mercenaries do we have? 5,000. How many troops does he still have? 17,000. So I don't exactly know where his troops are. But I saw a big huge blob over here. Belonging to this guy, I think. See, he has 13,000 troops. And these are counted in there, but they are not actually his. He has no control over them. And he's not joining him, apparently. Well, he's part of it, but he's not joining in that sense. Oh, 
Oh yes. Let us become friends with the king of Bulgaria. That sounds great. Let's see. Oh, so cute over here. Okay. Now we've rid us of this little nuisance. We can go up here, crush them a few more times and hopefully win this. They have only won a few sieges so far. They have not won a single battle. Our armies were extremely victorious. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest, right? Where did he move his troops to? They just vanished. What is happening in this world? Is there magic now? It's just troops vanishing. Okay, we caught up to them. Let's pray they give us a 1%. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. So EO of the Welch Revolt will be imprisoned. We get a whole hundred prestige for fighting this insane, insane war. This man can't revoke his titles. Can't execute him because people are against it. But we can put him in the Oubliette where he is certain to die. So, uh, this was a fantastic demonstration of the potential use of mercenary armies. As you can see, we now have a chance again. Now, everyone, everyone gets into the... Honestly, everyone who just partook in this insane endeavor gets the oubliette. Every single one of them. There are no... people who get out of this one. Now, if you've never heard of the term oubliette, the oubliette is something quite unpleasant. It is an extremely small cell, barely enough to stand in. Let's revoke the Duchy of Flanders from him. Taking that one. It is a cell where you can barely stand in. Really. And you'll get cramps. You'll be very hard pressed. Okay. Let's revoke all those duchy titles. And we also get a barony or a county here. Okay, yeah, people are going to be upset about it. But since people are allowing it, we'll take at least Blois. We'll live with it. Right now, we, we will just live with it. So we can give Blois to someone else. I hope, I hope my council allows it. We'll have to see. If it doesn't, then we're not going to do it again. So reset, we search our realm, we load the third filter. And... I want to give you the county of Blois. No? I want to give you the county of Blois. No? Okay, it doesn't work. We'll just revoke some duchy titles. As we're allowed. Okay, let's check our opinion modifier quickly here. Okay, what do you hate us for? Too many held duchies. Yeah, no problem. Revoked vassal titles. Let's see if that accumulates. If that, if that doesn't go up, we're just going to revoke like crazy now. Um, if it goes up, we need to be careful. Careful. Okay, the council won't want this for some reason. 
Let's revoke the Duchy of Picardy from him as well. Let's see if this is accumulative or not. Yeah, okay, this goes in accumulation. Doesn't last too long, I hope. Well, five years. But we need to be a little bit careful. <laughs> uh, with upsetting everyone. Okay. So right now what we need is a council who actually likes us. We'll have to place a few people, potentially. Uh, do we even have enough people who would like us? And we only have this one person who would like us. Oh, wow. 30. Crazy, we need him. Right, and he goes and... Oh, strong vassals here. So... Well, what are you good at? You're a halfway competent spy master. So you'll be that for us. Let's see. Who is against granting titles here? These three. So where are you? Are here, but I can't improve diplomatic relationships here. Oh, I can. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's dole out a few lower titles as well, especially our chancellors. Our chancellors will get all the titles now. There are no more chancellors to give titles to, so we'll just give it to people who don't hate us all that much. Yeah, he can be our cupbearer. He can be our seneschal. This man will be our court tutor. See who likes us. Maud. He can be a commander. We have more counselors we can give commander slots to. Yes. Just to improve their opinion a little bit further. Another counselor. Right, okay. Let's see if we can't give away a few titles here. Um, check out council again. What if I gave you a gift? I will give him a gift as well. I will give him... Mm, no, that's too expensive. You can't really afford it right now. You're also too expensive. You're also way too expensive. Okay, let's see. Let's unpause just for a moment. To let the game register new stuff. There we go. Okay, we can give him the county of Blois. Is he Welsh? He's Welsh. But he's also the Prince of France. He's the guy who's going to hate us when we change this to section law. But we can only give it to him. Okay, so we give him the county of Blois. And we give him the duchy of Blois. No, we can't give him the duchy of Blois. Okay, let's see. Do we have any one of our lineage up here? Any one of our blood? No? I do you even have a title still? Yeah, let's revoke this thing. Okay. Come on, let me give this away, please. 
Any bloodlines. Any one of our bloodline. Still can't revoke his title. Why do you hate us? Too many held duchies. Okay, we need to get rid of a few duchies. So we don't have any blood up here. Let's check what is even ours. Do we still hold land out here somewhere? I think we can give away. No, oh, and he's the only one we can give something. Do you have any chances up here? Could revoke his title further. People are quite against it. Going to hate us for it. Ah, this is difficult. Okay, let's get rid of a few things. You have minus 48. Too many held duchies, most part. Okay, we don't want the prince bishopric out here, so we're going to give you nothing because our council hates us. Flanders is a really strong duchy. I bet if I'm like, hey, you want the duchy of Flanders? He's all for it. Give out a new commander title. How old are we? Six. Was the Prince Bishopric of Rion. Okay. Yeah, so now we have a bunch of duchy titles to give away, which we can't give away. Because our council blocks us. So we probably created our next problem here. Let's check the factions that are going to fill up like crazy in a few seconds. Yep, and there we go, 122%. What? How do you have 122% between the two of you? What are you? How do they have 122% of our power? What's going on with our home front? How are we so depleted? I feel like we're just going to go through rebellion after rebellion after rebellion. He's way too far away to help us at all. But he has 7,000 troops. So if he ever made it over to help, he would be a valuable ally. And maybe it dissuades the strong factions a little bit. Okay, let's go through our vassals. And see with whom we could get a non-aggression pact.
spawn. Send him a gift and... Still no? Okay, yeah, doesn't work. Just looking for non-aggression packs here. But since I saw demand religious conversion, I figured that maybe we could revoke his title, but our council is a little bit in the way of that. Really? Okay. So we'll just... Oh god, we we will have several. We'll have several. Oh god. These don't even have like a... There's no... There's no cross-section between these. We are so terribly doomed. Absolutely doomed. Unless, of course, Bulgaria comes and helps us. You guys are being no good to us. Okay, what can we still do? Get asked to nominate a bishop. Lovely. That's going to help us. Um... Can we get a non-aggression pack anywhere for any reason? Ireland maybe? Uh. We'll have several rebellions on our hand in just a moment. I'm really scared to unpause this. 